Hey nerds, Farmer Jesse here for your Market Garden Minute this week. Let's talk a little bit about how little you actually need to get a functional greenhouse going. Uh, also called a propagation house or just prop house where our transplants are grown. Um, Quick background, I learned to farm on a farm called Bug Tussle that was completely off-grid and the world I became a farmer in was all about simplicity. And over the years and through a few different farms, I have managed to produce a lot of starts out of a very small, low-tech greenhouse of one kind or another. So let's just jog quickly through the keys to a simple, functional greenhouse while you establish the rest of your farm. To be clear, this isn't intended as your answer to final propagation house. It's just a means of getting you there and to help you understand how simple one can be. Um, and because some of the funding out there for greenhouses like the NRCS grant is intended more for in-ground growing and not plant propagation, this video is intended to just get you started until you have the capital to bump up to a legit greenhouse. Uh, first, you need a relatively sturdy structure that will shed snow and rain and not be susceptible to wind. Uh, I generally do not recommend PVC or other plastic piping for this, though it can work um, on a smaller scale. We use an old Caterpillar tunnel for this one with stainless steel pipes, but any sort of 1.5 inch pipe will work. Um, they make pipe benders that will help bend them pretty well. Um, wood can also be used, but just make sure the edges are clean so as not to damage your plastic as it whips around in the wind, and I promise you it will whip around in the wind a little bit. Small cold frames built out of old windows can also work. They can just be hard to protect from rodents. Uh, whatever you build, it should have wind bracing as well, or at very least a center purlin, if not also trusses for bracing. If your tunnel is very exposed to the wind, like on a ridge top, um, brace the fire out of it. That is the technical term. Then of course, some five or six mil greenhouse plastic. And unfortunately not any plastic will work for a greenhouse. Greenhouse plastic is UV treated and will last four or more years easily. If you just throw any old clear plastic on there, there's no guarantee. I'm sure somebody in the comment section will tell you about their experience with that. Next, you need a floor. The landscape fabric works pretty nicely for this, but you may also want to think about gravel. But the, you know, honestly, the reality is that if you do not keep it clean, it will sprout weeds. So just keep that in mind. Even gravel uh, as, you know, will sprout weeds as soil mix collects because it will slowly just become soil on top of the gravel. Honestly, I've taken to just accepting it and cleaning ours out every fall. Next, although I sort of like the barrels full of water, like you can see here, in the cold years, I'm finding that they just keep the greenhouse colder for longer. Um, so not the best in the spring. Any further south of us, however, and you should be good to go with the barrels. Um, ventilation is paramount. You need to be able to open the sides or the ends and have air flow through it. Plants need air to avoid foliar diseases. Um, that's really important. We also have a fan hanging in our prop house because I have electricity close enough to run one with an outdoor extension cord. In the summer, we remove the sides entirely to allow for airflow and keep it from being too hot. Um, if you do have electricity, you can invest in a heat mat or heating cables uh, for crop germination and protection in the early days of the spring. I also like to have a space heater on hand just in case. Um, for tables, I use some piping on top of the barrels, but I also use some pallets. Uh, you can buy tables, um, just something relatively level where your plants will not slide off. Ideally, the structure is on level ground and in full sun. Seems like something I probably should have said earlier. For watering, I actually don't really use a fancy wand. Uh, there are a bunch out there. I use just a normal hardware store spray gun. Uh, I am trialing this thing as well for the, for the year, for the season. So I'll let you know how it goes. Um, so far, it's been mostly helpful. Not sure if it's worth the cost, but I will say that it's messy and dangerous to drag a whole hose around your greenhouse and you can knock trays off and such. It's not super cool. So preferably you get your water hoses off of the ground uh, with something that is something, if not this, something. Okay, so that's kind of the basics. Hopefully all of us will be able to move up to a beautiful automated prop house one day, but I find that if it's an area where you can get something up quickly and save a little capital while you continue to work on building the rest of your farm as we are going into season three here on our new property. Um, yep, 
In the future, I will update you when we build our legit prop house, but a little goes a long way, like how I turn one minute into like six. Otherwise, this video is brought to you by you, our patrons at patreon.com slash no till growers. So please sign up to support more videos like it. Like the video if you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're awesome, hit the super thanks button if we've helped you out at all, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.